Good evening. In a brief appearance here in federal court, a prosecutor with the U.S. Attorney's Office said when police searched Taylor Toronto's van, they found two guns, 400 rounds of ammunition, and a machete. The police had already been searching for Toronto based on a warrant that he had for an indictment for his alleged role in January 6th. Capitol Police also said that Toronto had recently been making threats on social media against members of Congress, including Jamie Raskin. There was no mention in court of why Toronto would have been near the Obama's home or what his motives might have been. But the prosecutor in the case said Toronto was living out of the van and was a flight risk. The prosecutor also said police were still in the process of searching the van. The hearing today was simply focused on the indictment against Toronto for his alleged role in being inside the Capitol on January 6th. He faces four misdemeanor counts, including two for disorderly conduct. Toronto is also alleged in a civil suit to have been involved in the assault on D.C. police officer Jeffrey Smith, who died by suicide days after the attack on the Capitol. In the suit, Smith's wife Erin claims Toronto handed a cane to another man who then swung it at Smith. Toronto has not been charged criminally in the assault on Smith, whose death has officially been declared a line of duty death. The civil suit was filed in federal court and is pending. After hearing the evidence in the case, a federal judge ordered Toronto held over the weekend as a flight risk until a detention hearing can be held next Wednesday. At federal court in the district, Paul Wagner, News 4.